Hi guys, I thought I'd do a talk through get ready with me today. Um, I'm always doing the speeded up ones with the music because I find that if I do a talk through one, it takes way too long. But hey ho, I don't care. You like them. I like getting myself ready. So I've already put uh, primer on this morning and the primer I used was my L'Oreal Magic Blur, which is a pretty much a standard one for me. And then I'll give it a quick wash over with the um, Pond's BB powder, which I've decanted into an old sort of um, body shop mineral powder pot. The one that was in here was way too dark, so I threw it away and decanted some of this into here. And I've just quickly washed over my face with that. Um, I'm going to use my um, Naked Skin by Urban Decay today because I haven't given this enough love in the last few days, should I say? No, actually a few weeks. Um, so I'm just going to pump a little bit out onto here. It's quite a thin foundation this, but it really covers. I'm going to blow on it because I'm not putting it on anyone else's face but to my own. And I am going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush to buff this in. So let's, if I'm looking up here guys, it's because I've got a mirror on my wardrobe, which is just a little bit more sort of What's the word I'm looking for? I can see it in this one better than that one. Um, my view, my my screen on my um, tablet. So I'm just going to buff this in. It's really good coverage. Um, I really like it. It's, I suppose you get what you pay for with foundations. I have a couple of high-end foundations now. I have this one. And I also have Estee Lauder's Double Wear, which is really, really sort of full, full coverage. Um, those are the two sort of high-end ones that I've got. Uh, so I'm just buffing this one in. The colour I've got in the Urban Decay is 03, I think, or is it 0.35? I don't know. Yeah, 0.35. Um, she colour matched me quite well, actually, in the Debenhams. Um, my local Debenham, so I was quite pleased. Sometimes when you get colour matched in places that have got all these fluorescent lights, you, pff, you come home and you look either orange or completely anemic um, because they don't really match you but she definitely definitely matched me well on this one so I'm buffing it right up into my hairline and down my neck over my ears a little bit um, I'm gonna have to conceal I've got a couple of uh, monthly blemishes sort of appearing I put way too much on here so I'm just gonna wipe that off <laughs> shame didn't want to do that but there you go so that's that then let me just conceal now. Oh God, I've got nowhere to put anything. Um, what am I going to use for concealer today? I've got three different concealers with me today. I have got two 17 ones, one hide, and, uh, hide away, one stay 18 hour. And hmm, oh, let's go for this one, hide away. See if it's good. Uh, this one I've got in fair. This is 17. So I'm just going to blot. Some red bits on my cheek that I want to cover. Uh, I don't really get that red around my nose at the moment. Um, yeah, mainly the spotty bits. So I'm going to buff that in with the same brush. Uh, try not to rub too much. I'm just going to buff it rather than just to get rid of the red. I haven't really had any dark circles for a while, which is quite good considering I don't sleep. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that bit done. So that with the Urban Decay and the um, Hideaway, that's quite good coverage, but I'm looking extremely shiny. So let's buff that down a bit. Now, what one should I use? What one haven't I given enough love to lately? Oh, I've used, look at that. Uh, let's use something else. Oh no, I don't want to use that one. So I don't want to use this because I always use this. I want to try something different. No, the next one's just a little bit too heavy. Oh, just found another one. Um, let's go for something. Oh, let's go for a cheapie. Let's go for a Beauty UK. This one's compact powder number two. Um, sorry, looks like that. Um, so let's just give that a quick buff in over the skin with my brush if I can find it. Oh, which I've lost. It's a hide in behind the Urban Decay. So I'm just going to lot the shiny bits down it's not the best powder ever but it's a good one to keep in your handbag um it just you know 
it doesn't matter it doesn't matter a great deal if it gets smashed in your handbag because it's i think this is only 3.99 for this and you get quite a lot and it's quite good it doesn't make it look too cakey um what i tend to do when i've done this bit if i find i am looking a bit cakey then i will spray it down now what i usually would use is like a setting spray but i'm not going to today hold on i'll be right back right what i'm going to use is i bought this last year it's a summer mist uh hydrating facial mist basically it's very similar to sort of your la roche posay type thing um but of course this is quite expensive this was two pound in the sale in the factory shop and i really like this this is really nice like a cooling mist in the summer as well so i'm just going to get this really fine mist i'm just going to give this a quick spray just to <sighs> oh, it's maybe a nice and wet and shiny again hasn't it um cool down cool down cool down i don't want to i'm just gonna buff that on right give that a chance to settle down i'm gonna do my eyebrows so i've decided to use my sleek one today um it's the one with the little spoolie on the end um so i'm just gonna give them a quick going over i think this one is in light because i tried the medium in the shop and oh my god talk about um overly done eyebrows it would literally look like i mean i know i draw my eyebrows on don't get me wrong a lot of us do but it, it would have looked ridiculous um so i'm just going to go over it doesn't take me long to do it it's not like a major sort of effort my eyebrows aren't brilliant anyway so i just sort of draw them on they look all right um and then give them a quick brush through just to make them look a little bit more uh, natural um i don't usually set my eyebrows maybe i should it is actually really hot in my bedroom so i will be um whew, perspiring as they say so that is that and i can't get it back in my stupid little pot thing here oh get it i'll do that later so that's the eyebrows done Ooh, i've cooled down a little bit what i'm going to do now for blush is scream because oh i know i can use the blush in there oh, i've got so much makeup here i'm going to use my blush by three i know i sort of like get a bit you know this one pink lemonade oh, i love this stuff i need a really sort of nice light brush not a heavy brush what am i gonna use oh i know i should use my real techniques one um just get a little bit of color on there you see the color and then just sort of buff that on my cheeks i don't want an overly blush because it makes me look silly um Stippling brushes are amazing for cream blushes and powder blushes, I think, because they just don't put too much on. Now, in the actual screen, I can see that that doesn't really look like I've got blush on, but believe me, I have. Um, I don't want to go too mad. And then I'm going to bronze. And again, I'm using a really cheap eBay stippling brush for that. And I'm going to use something that, again, I haven't given up love to. And that's the um, Sally Hansen ones that I got from, I think this was in the factory shop. This is in Summer. And it's like a little sort of two-toned, it's got a little sun in it. It looks really cute. Um, try and edge towards the lighter side. And just give myself a little bronze in. Not contouring, really. Just, you know, sun kiss, I suppose. Yeah, you can sort of see that. And that side. It really looks like I'm packing this on, but I'm not. It's such a light bronzer. It's really nice. I really like this one. And a little bit down my neck. So I don't look like I've got a mask on. So that's that. Then I'm going to go to the eyes. Now, I've chosen the eyes today. The Rimmel Brixton Brown. I think, is it Brixton Brown? My eyesight's crap. Yeah, Brixton Brown. It's got a lovely champagne colour. Three quite dark, uh, two quite dark browns, a reddish in the middle, and a taupe. That's those two. So I'm going to go with an eye primer first. That would be a good idea. Wonder what should I use for my eye primer? I've got no idea. 
<sighs> Let's go for a champagne colour. Let's go for my Calvin Klein. And this one is in bare silk, which is almost white, actually. Um, but it's quite nice. Once it goes on the eyebrows, eyebrows, duh. Once it goes on the eyelid, it's quite sheer. So I'm going to put that on there. I am actually going for a really glowy look, so even though I'm actually sweating, I'm going to pass it off as a glow. Because <laughs> I don't care. Um, so that's that one. And I'm going to go in with my fingers because I find my fingers are a lot easier. I'm going to go in with the champagne colour, which is just absolutely divine. Um, and I'm going to go on the inner sort of part of my eye with that. And see, it really does glow. And sort of put it in the inner part of my eye here as well. So that glows. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Um, so that's that bit. And that bit. And then I'm going to go for... Actually, first I'm going to go for the red in the middle. It's not really red. It's like a russet brown colour. Um, but it's just really, really nice. It's not too dark. Um, so I'm going to go over with that. And the other side, pop a bit on there, because we can. Mm, nice. And then I'm going to completely discard that for a minute and go to one of my, um, what do you call them? Me um, W7 triple shadows that I've got. Uh, this is really nice. This is just in caramel, I think. And I'm, oh God. I'm just going to sort of blend all that together. And it's a really nice sort of light brown colour. Uh, so let's just blend all those together. On the eye, it just gives a really sort of natural look. Nothing too drastic. I don't want anything too drastic. just sort of blends all them colours together um, I'm going to go under the eye I'm going to go back to the Rimmel palette for that and I'm going to go under my eye if I can find something to go under my eye with oh where did I put it hmm. I just want to sort of oh angled one that'll do there you go I've got the Real Techniques one and I'm going to go sort of I'm going to first go with the ready colour I don't really like putting red for under my eyes because makes you look sort of dead but I'm going to start with the red so under there and then I'm going to top it with a darker brown ouch I just poked myself in the eye guys I don't know if you can see that you just see the red under the eye oh got an itch and then I'm going to go for the sort of medium brown just to go over the top of it just might slightly see. I'm just going to go on top of the eyelid quickly there, just so that blends that in. Um, yeah, that's right. I'm not a professional guy, so I don't care. And go the other side, just over slightly, and then up onto the outer, ouch, outer corner of my eye. See, I can tell I'm not a professional. I can't just keep poking my blooming eye out. Um, so yeah, that's quite nice. I don't want to go anything too heavy because it's a natural look. I don't think I'm going to go with um, a black liner today. In fact, I might just do a little bit more of this across the eyelid because I think right close to the lashes. I don't want to go, like I said, too heavy because it's not like I'm going clubbing or anything. That's quite nice. I like that. So let's do that the other side. Uh, stretch the eye out really close to the lashes and nearly poked my eye out again yeah I like that it's quite natural so I've done that and I'm still looking rather dewy aren't I um, I need a mascara what am I going to go for I know normally I would use my NYC high definition volumizing but I'm going to go for the lengthy one today because it's just that little bit thinner and it's not so much wow. I don't want too much wow on my face. So that's the wand. And it just defines. 
so you can see my lashes. You can see them, they're there, they're black, but they're not in your face black. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, I do apologise getting close to the camera. Like I say, I certainly don't claim to be a makeup artist, but I certainly love playing with makeup. And I think that's quite a lot, quite true to a lot of people on YouTube, actually. Right, so that's the eyes done. Um, what do you think? Quite natural. I love it, love it. Now, I don't want to go for a natural lip because I just think that would be too... I'm not going to go really heavy, but I might. what I might do is go for the Make Me Blush by Rimmel which is a really nice pink <clears throat> yeah make me blush that's this one it's really nice quite subtle gives you a pop of pink color but nothing too heavy mm, there you go i love the smell and the taste of these things i just think they're gorgeous right that is it that is my natural look I hope you enjoyed the talk through. If you do enjoy talk throughs rather than speed it up with the groovy music on it, just let me know. Give me a big thumbs up and I'll, then I'll know to do more of the talk through ones. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you love it. Um, it's like very natural, but very sort of dominant. You can definitely see that I've got eye makeup on without it being too in your face. So yeah, please like, comment, share and subscribe if you like it. And obviously subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, and... I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.